currently repairing a main water transmission line that ruptured. When it ruptured, it um, actually ended up draining some of the system, one of the tanks. We actually uh, drained two of the tanks in our system, and it was such a large break that we actually lost system pressure. Overstreet says the tank levels dropped to almost nothing. According to the state and to TCQ, when your system pressure drops below 20 PSI, then it has a potential to be inundated from other areas to get back into the system. Even though the main water line breakage happened in the south side of town in this isolated area, it affects the entire city of San Angelo. Well, the reason it's affecting the whole city is because right now we're actually utilizing the high plane to feed water into the low plane to maintain pressures and then having to switch the system back over during the evenings for low water usage to fill those tanks back up. The rerouting of the water system lets potential bacteria filter into the water. If somebody has a little stock tank or they have a tank somewhere in their home and they don't have a backflow preventer, when our pressure drops down to a certain level, that can actually come back into our system and introduce bacteria and things like that that have not been treated. With the boiling water notice in place, the Water Utilities Department recommends to boil anything being consumed. Uh, we're also, too, recommending that if it's going to be something that you're going to be washing your face, putting by your mouth, putting by your eyes in areas that could actually be entrances into, into the body, th that also, too, should be boiled or bottled water. Parts from Houston are in transit to help finalize the repairs to the water line. The leak has been stopped at this point, so we're not continuing to lose water, but we're having difficulty building up enough pressure because that line is not in service. There is no current timeline as to when it will be finished. Jenna Kelly, KLST News.